Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mr. Ian Teaches English for another conversation activity. As always, this conversation is here to help you learn English through listening to and watching natural English conversation. As always, I have my beautiful wife, Miss Natasha, here. Hi. And we'll go through four questions just about life. We have not thought about these questions before. We're just going to ask them. And、uh, go ahead and put your answer in the comments too while you're here. So go ahead. I did the first one last time. Okay. So would you rather live for a week in the past or in the future? Is that even a question? Yeah. I mean, I know what your answer is. Yeah. But I think the this is future, a man. I mean, flying cars and lightsabers and going to space. I、uh, would be amazing. I would love.、Uh, some of my favorite books are the books about kind of the the near future, the next three hundred, four hundred, five hundred years when humans leave Earth and are exploring the solar system. They're exploring the different planets. I would love to see that time,、mm, technology that wise.、Awful. I wonder what your answer is,、uh-huh. woman who's opposite to me in everything. <laughs> My answer is the past, but a very specific part of the past. I would want to be a well-off. That means、mm. having lots of money. Person in the Regency area, era, 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 era.、Um, because, <laughs> because、um, I would want to do high tea, afternoon tea. I'd want to go to all the fancy houses. I'd want to wear the pretty dresses. Um, I just think that would be a lot of fun for a week. Yeah, I could do it for a week. Yeah, for a week. Not, I think you'd get、anyone. tired of, of dressing well, up. Well, and also the dressing up, and also like the stuff that we are so used to now that、mm-hmm. they didn't have back then, like toilets. Yeah,、uh, <laughs> you know, running water, electricity, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, you know, those are important things. So that's that would be my answer.、Excellent. So your turn. All right. What is one thing you are grateful for this week? That like the week past or the week? Yeah, let's、up? say seven days into the past. Oof. Okay. Oh. Um. <laughs> I can't even remember yesterday. Um. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first.、Okay. I can't think of anything. So I am grateful for my martial arts training.、Mm. Yesterday we had a ceremony and. We were able to, you know, some of us promoted to new belt colors, and it's just a, it's a wonderful celebration. It's good to cheer on your friends who are working hard and are getting promoted to new ranks. It's good to see them being recognized. It's good to share that moment, and it, it just feels good. So I was very thankful to have that experience、uh, this weekend. So I thought of something. Yay! Good.、Um, You're up. Yes, I am.、Um, so I was grateful for there was one day last week. I think it might have been Thursday. That was super nice weather. Really nice.、Mm. It was it was sunny, but it was still a little bit breezy.、Um, and so I decided because I was feeling a bit miserable, so I decided to go for a walk. And I went for an hour long walk, and、yeah. it was wonderful. And then the next day, I realized I got sunburned. <laughs> But the walk was itself was really nice. It was really nice to be out. I enjoyed that. That's what I'm grateful for. Good. That sounds nice.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, the weather this time of year is really really nice right now.、Mm-hmm. So we're trying to enjoy that before it gets really hot in、yeah. the summer. Yeah. Okay. What would you like us to do more of as a family? I would like us to go more places.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Like little afternoon trips, little half day trips,、um, because I, I I love my family. I love spending time with them. Sometimes it's just hard when you have five kids to go somewhere、mm. and do something,、um, not just you know gas money and and time and all that, but it's getting ready, it's getting prepared, it's making sure everybody has what they need.、Uh, not everybody is always having a good attitude, so、mm. that weighs on it as well. Um, that's what I would say. Yeah, I wish that we could do more of those things. Maybe more outdoor activities or more、mm. kind of two three hour things together on the weekends.、Mm. Yes, I think mine is probably similar.、Um, I also would like to expand. It's not just like 
two, three hour trips, I would love to be able to travel more as a family mm. um, because I grew up traveling and we traveled a lot when we first met. And I just think you can learn so much from other cultures um, and being around people that you're not used to. Um, and I just think that that would be, I feel like that's such a good education for children yeah. um, that I would love to do that, um, obviously. You know, we've had two years of COVID, so no one's been going anywhere. Um, but I hope for the future that maybe we can. Yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. I would appreciate that. That would be fun. Is last that, one. All right, last question. What is your biggest goal this year? 2022, what's your goal? Oh, my gosh. Um, I was going to say one thing, but I don't feel like I am really pursuing that goal anymore so i don't want to say it it was a very interesting conversation <laughs> sorry um so well i will say one of my goals is to lose weight um i have a certain amount of weight i would like to lose i'm currently doing keto um it is not fun but it's gonna get me to where i want to be um so that would be that i also um have a goal of possibly, I'm saying possibly, uh, running a half marathon, but I've had uh, like three weeks off of training because I just haven't wanted to do it. So <laughs> it's not going That's well. That's how that works. Yep. Um, so obviously I'm not being made consistent. Um, so those are my two goals mm. for myself. See, that's interesting that you mentioned that word consistent because both of my goals are also about being consistent. Mm. And maybe that's, maybe that's the key. But so I kind of have two goals this year. One, I mentioned the martial arts, just continuing that, you know, doing that I think twice a week. Um, but my big goal for this year is this YouTube channel. So I decided to give myself one year. Mm. I started on November 24th. It was right before Thanksgiving or maybe right after Thanksgiving that, mm -hmm. that week. I released my first video. And I'm going to give it one year and see how it goes. And I, I really enjoy doing it. Subscribe because I release videos almost Smash that like button. Um, because I, I enjoy being creative. I enjoy sharing the knowledge, the information that I've learned over teaching English for almost 13 years now. And um, so yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I really hope it's successful. But I've given myself this year mm -hmm. to continue to create content. My goal is to do three shorts and two long form videos each week. And want to chit chat with me. Yeah. One of them is this right here. We're making it now. Yes. And after a year, we'll see if it's successful or not. Maybe I maybe I stop this November. Maybe I continue. It depends. So Well, those I think are my if you're goals. enjoying it, even if November comes and you feel like you haven't like succeeded yeah. i think if you're enjoying it you might want to continue anyways yeah yeah that that's always possible and yeah. i guess like i might have times like a couple weeks ago i was really you know mm. really bummed about it really disappointed and but i have a commitment to continue so i guess when we get to november if i have those negative emotions if i'm feeling you know, down about it, not interested mm. in it anymore. I would allow myself to stop doing it. Yes. But at the moment, even if I don't feel like doing it, I'm still doing it. You're very good about being committed and consistent. I'm, I'm trying not to. very good at those things. I'm good at being committed, but not consistent. Right. I'm like a burn bright and then fizzle out. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well on that note, um, go ahead. I hope that you guys enjoy these conversations. Uh, hit the like button if you do, and please give us questions. If you have a question that you would like us to answer, we would love to hear it. Put your answers to the questions below and um, subscribe and hit the notification button because like I said, I'm releasing videos almost every day. And if you're learning English, this is a great way to do it. So, yes, it is. Thanks do so much it. for being here. <laughs> See you next time.